Now, this is something that a lot of people are gonna do a lot of different ways. I'm gonna show you the simple way that I like to do it today. What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to color in between the lines in Procreate. All right, for starters, as you can see here on the iPad, I've got this cool little 13 design that I've drawn recently. I quite like it, but I've done it as a sketch. So the main point of this video is to show you how to color quickly and effectively within the lines you've created. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a nice thick outline. So essentially what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to our layers panel on the top right, we're gonna create a new layer above the layer which has the 13 on it here. And we're gonna go ahead, select a nice inking brush, maybe a studio pen, get some black, and then we're gonna go back into our layers panel. We're gonna hit the little end and we're gonna drop the opacity on our 13. This is really important because then once we do that and we're back on our newly created layer, layer two there, we're gonna have a nice light, outline of the 13 to create a nice thick outline over the top with. Alrighty, that's looking pretty cool. I'm really happy with that outline. It's nice and jagged, kind of going with this theme of this 13 that I'm working with. So now, if we go back into a layers panel, I have two layers here, layer 13, which is our original sketch, and layer two. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the 13 there and I'm left with my nice thick outline. Now if we close the layers panel, it's time to add some color. Now the reason why I wanted a nice thick outline here is when I go back to my color panel at the top, I can go through and see all these ones I've created in the past and I'm gonna go for a nice, maybe a really dark purple. I think it'd be pretty cool. So once we've got that selected and we're back in our normal window view here, all we're gonna do is press and hold on the color selection here and drag it onto one of the sections we wanna fill. And there we have it. Super simple way. Now, I'm gonna show you what happens if you didn't create a nice thick outline. Let's double tap and undo that. Click back on the layers panel. Let's turn off layer two. Let's turn back on layer 13. Now for this, I'm gonna increase that opacity again. Now let's try with layer 13 selected to try and drag and drop the color onto one of these sections to see what happens. And there we have it. Because as you can see here, that pencil I used, the 6B pencil, uh, it's not a super strong continuous line. It has bits where it cuts in and out. If that's the case, that color selection drop is just gonna color everything that it can until it hits a solid boundary. So in this case, when I do it, it colors everything, which isn't ideal. That's why if we go back and turn on layer two there with our newly done outline on it, this outline is continuous. It starts and stops and there's an internal area which is constrained by that outline. So all we have to do again is drag and drop that color onto there and we're good to go. This is a really effective way to drag and drop color Maybe you wanna work with specific color themes throughout the piece, but you're not quite sure. You can drag and drop as many colors as you'd like, trying to figure out exactly what color you're going for and get moving on the piece. All right, now that we've got that down pat, I'm gonna show you one more way you can take it much further when it comes to Procreate and creating really effective coloring, but also not ruining the outline you've just created. And we're gonna do that by using reference layers. So let's tap back on our layer panel. As we can see here, layer two is ready to go. We're gonna hit the little plus icon. We're gonna have layer three over the top. We're gonna to click back on layer two. We're gonna tap on it again, and we're gonna select reference. Now, any layer that's above it is gonna directly reference that layer, but it's not gonna affect layer two, which is great. So let's close the layers panel, and we're gonna drag and drop that purple onto the one again. And let's do it for the 13 as well looking pretty nice. Now, if we tap back on the layers panel, we've got a layer with just our fill in it, the purple. But we've also got layer two with our outline on it, which is fantastic. So what I like to do is I like to tap on my outline layer. I like to rename it. Let's call it outline. And then everything else from there, I know that I'm not gonna be putting on that layer because now if I turn off the fill, I'm left with my outline or I can do the opposite as well. Keep the fill turn off the outline, which is absolutely fantastic. So don't forget to use reference layers when you're filling in your color. This way you can come back, make changes later on, and it's gonna be so much more effective.
And the final piece of the puzzle I wanna show you today when it comes to coloring within the lines in Procreate is using clipping masks to color over the color you've just laid down. Let's have a look. Let's tap on layer three. That's the fill we just put in just then. We can turn it on and off, fantastic. But now if we wanna put some shading in there, we wanna be as effective as possible. Uh, we wanna do it nice and quick, but we only wanna affect what's on that layer. Very simply done. We're gonna hit the little plus icon again, layer four. We're gonna tap on layer four and we're gonna select clipping mask. Now this is kind of the opposite of a reference layer. Now the clipping mask is only gonna be affecting what's below it. So let's go ahead and select maybe a lighter purple and maybe an airbrush so we can create a nice little shade down, create it nice and big. Now watch what happens here. When I go ahead and start shading, you can see that light purple coming across the top. All right, we can maybe even go a little bit lighter as well. And then we're getting this nice gradient happening. And maybe we'll even drop a black in as well down below it, just to create that nice illusion there. Now I've got this really amazing gradient and let's go back into a layers panel and see what it looks like. Perfect, now everything is separated. We still have our outline, we still have our main color, and then we have everything else we've done on top of that, which is absolutely fantastic. This way, again, you can make adjustments on the fly as you continue to move through your pieces. You can imagine when you start doing a lot of Procreate work, you're gonna get pieces that have a lot of layers in them. Uh, so this is a great way to keep track of everything and be able to go back in and make subtle changes uh, without affecting the whole entire piece. And that's it. There are three tips of how you can color very effectively, how you can stay within the lines within Procreate and create some absolutely amazing art. Get out there, enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next video.